You guys are not gonna believe what I got. I was really dumbfounded. It finally came in the mail today. Uh, I had a very interesting <laughs> week, or last week I guess. Somebody had advertised, right after I was just thinking about it, on Facebook in one of the Goosebumps groups, about a book that, for anybody who's been following the channel, that it's the one book that I could not find. One of the hardest books to find in Goosebumps. Uh, whether it be collecting, whether it be anything like that, some of these books are worth so much now that they're next to impossible to try to find. And I finally got my hands on one, praise God. Somebody had put in there, like 10 minutes before I looked at my Facebook, in a Goosebumps page, that Thrift Books now finally had a copy in stock on their website of TV book number 16. Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. And it's actually in very good condition, too. I'm a little surprised the color's all there, the pictures inside are all intact. I think there's like a couple of creases on the actual cover, and that's it. Guys, we finally got it. I am so pumped. <laughs> I don't even know how to tell you. I was scared to death with how uncomfortably high the price was on this, but it was worth paying because I got it. I finally got it. I've been waiting. I've been saving up some money just in case I came across it. I finally got my hands on it, and I'm super stoked about this. So we have it, finally. <laughs> it's finally here. It's part of the collection now. I cannot wait to read this at some point. Probably going to wait till like, next Halloween to read this, but... Oh, man. We finally have all the TV books. As soon as I get a few more books in, plus the book that's coming out at the end of this month, which is the newest IDW comic. Uh, well, it's really the trade paperback slash hardcover collection of the third stuff. I think it's called The Witch's House or something. Once I get the couple of leftover books that I have that I thought I was going to get for my birthday, but I never got around to ending up, ending up to buy them, um, I have a couple on the way that should be here in the next couple of days, possibly, too. We're almost done collecting every Goosebumps book that's ever existed. Not including the stuff that's still coming out, like the Slappy World stuff. I don't know if they're going to do any more comics at IDW, but Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns, man. Finally got it. Finally got my hands on it. God is so freaking good. Uh, but I also know that there's no other words to describe it. I'm so thankful to the guy who put this on Facebook to let everybody know. Because I jumped on that. Like I said, it had been posted for like 10 minutes before I got on Facebook. And I saw it. And I about just crapped myself. Because I saw it. And I couldn't believe it. And when it came today, I didn't even want to make any announcements to you guys about possibly finding the thing. I didn't want to get your hopes up either. Because I was too excited myself. The price was relatively, relatively steep. I'm not going to lie to you. Um... The only thing though, like I said, I'm glad I have it. I'm glad it's part of the collection now. Um, it, it's just absolutely shocking to me, the, fi the fact that I finally got a copy of this and just to be able to hold it. And even when it came today in the thrift books package, I couldn't get myself to not try to just, without even opening the package, just feel it to see if it's thinner than the other Goosebumps books, which it is, and it was at the time too. So I was like all stoked. I was like, okay, well maybe it is a TV book, but maybe it's not Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns, even though that's what I purchased. But it was the right thing. I'm very excited. Very excited. I just wanted to share with you guys. Finally got it. And I think now, even with this being here now, um, I really, 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 really think after this video, I want to do a video based around like my top five hardest to find Goosebumps books, because that was a challenge, man. Uh, anyway. What are your thoughts, guys? We finally got it. We have it in the collection now. I'll get to talk about it at some point. Like I said, more than likely, it'll probably be like next Halloween that I get around to reading this and talking about it. I'm not really sure. But uh, what are your thoughts? Put them down below, guys. Thank you for watching, and thank you for sticking with me as I rambled on all this year about trying to find this freaking book. I bought most of these books, pretty much like 17 out of the 18 of these, in one go. Even Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. Got them all in one big bundle. Didn't realize how how ridiculously hard to find Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes is. And could not find this anywhere. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Finally got a copy of it. Um, I'm just, I'm so excited. It's in such good condition too, man. None of the pages are wrinkled or anything. It just, wow. Anyway, what are your thoughts, guys? We finally got it. I didn't do a big book haul. I just want to make one big old video talking about the last big expensive rare book that I needed to find for goosebumps in my collection. Uh, anyway, what are your thoughts? Put them down below. Thank you for watching. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. I can't even talk, dude. It's so late at night. I'm so tired. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you guys today, and uh, goodbye.